Welcome to the spoken tutorial on LaTeX on Windows using TechWorks. In this tutorial, we will learn to download and install MicTech, write basic LaTeX documents using TechWorks, configure MicTech to download missing packages. To record this tutorial, I am using Windows 7 operating system and MicTech 2.9. Let us now see the salient features of TechWorks. It is platform independent. It has an embedded PDF reader. It supports Indian language typesetting. Before we start with TechWorks, we have to install MicTech. MicTech is an up-to-date implementation of Tech or LaTeX and related programs for Windows. It contains the necessary packages to create basic documents in LaTeX on Windows. Moreover, TechWorks is a default editor available with MicTech installation. Go to the website www.mictech.org. Click on the download link for recommended MicTech installer. This will download the MicTech installer. Download and save it on your desktop. It is a large file about 154 megabytes. Hence, it will take some time to download. I have already downloaded this file. Here it is. Double click on this file to start the installation. Check the checkbox and click on next. Choose all default options. The installation will take around 5 to 10 minutes. I have already installed MicTech on my computer. Hence, I will not proceed with the installation. After successfully installing MicTech on your computer, let us see how to use the TechWorks editor which comes with MicTech. Click on the Windows Start button. Click on All Programs. Click on MicTech 2.9. Click on TechWorks. TechWorks editor will open. Let me open an already existing LaTeX document. I will click on File, then click on Open and choose the directory. Then I will open the file hello.tech. You can see that the text written in this file is colored. This is called syntax highlighting. It helps the user differentiate between the user content and the LaTeX syntax. In case the LaTeX syntax is not highlighted, do the following. In the TechWorks window, click on Format button available on the menu bar. Select Syntax Coloring and then click on LaTeX. If you want TechWorks to apply syntax highlighting every time you create a LaTeX document, do the following. On the menu bar, click on Edit, then click on Preferences. In the Editor tab, click on the drop-down button which gives options for syntax coloring. Choose LaTeX and then click on OK. In this way, Syntax highlighting will be applied to all documents created in the future. Now we are ready to compile our LaTeX document. Press Ctrl and T keys together to start the compilation. Once the document is compiled without errors, the resulting PDF will be opened. Note that this PDF reader comes along with TechWorks. It is the default PDF reader used by TechWorks to display the compiled PDF document. Now let us compile a Beamer document. Beamer package by default is not included in the MicTech setup that we have installed. This means that we have to download it from some source and add it to our current MicTech distribution. There are two ways of installing a missing package. One way is to install it on the fly while we are compiling a LaTeX document. This LaTeX document will typically require a package not available in your MicTech distribution. Other way is to manually choose and install a package using package manager of MicTech. Let us see the first method. We will open and compile a LaTeX document which requires MicTech to install packages from the internet. First, close the TechWorks editor. It is required that we open the tech file with administrator privileges. Click on start button. 
then click on all programs click on miktech 2.9 right click on techworks and choose run as administrator this will launch the techworks editor with administrator privileges now click on file then click on open choose the file beamer.tech press control and t keys together to start the compilation a package installation dialog box will open it will ask to install the missing package beamer.cls click on change button on this dialog box change package repository dialog box will open choose the option packages shall be installed from the internet click on connection settings it will prompt you to configure the proxy settings if you are not on a proxy network then leave the use proxy server checkbox unchecked since i am on a proxy network i will enable the option by clicking on the checkbox i will enter the proxy address i will enter proxy port number i will enable the option authentication required by clicking on the corresponding checkbox click on okay and then click on next it will ask me the proxy username and password i will enter the information and click on okay it will show a list of various remote package repositories choose one from the list and click on finish click on install it will install the beamer.cls package once again the package installation dialog box will open it will prompt to install the missing package pgfcore.sty you may uncheck the option always show this dialog before installing packages if you do this miktech will not prompt you again if it encounters a missing package click on install now if there are any more missing packages it will automatically install it without asking for your permission once the installation completes it will finish the compilation and open the pdf output we can see that we have successfully compiled a beamer document now let us see the second method of installing missing packages click on the windows start button click on all programs click on miktech 2.9 click on maintenance admin click on package manager admin it will show the list of various packages available now let us take a look at this list there are six columns in this list these are name category size packaged date installed on date and title the installed on column is very important to us the packages for which this column is blank indicates that these packages are not installed let us see how to install a particular package let me choose the package abc for example notice that the moment i choose the package the plus button on the top left side gets enabled the plus button is the install button click on the plus button a window will open which will list the number of packages you have chosen to install or uninstall click on proceed since i have configured a proxy network connection it will prompt me for the proxy username and password let me type my username and password click on okay a window will open which will show the download progress of the package selected for installation it may happen that it fails to download the requested package due to remote server connectivity issues in that case change the package repository and try again we can see that the installation of selected package is completed click on close the package list will get refreshed notice that 11th september 2013 appears in the installed on column for package abc this completes the tutorial latex on windows using techworks
In this tutorial, we learn to download and install MakeTech, write basic LaTeX document using TechWorks, configure MakeTech to download missing packages in two different ways. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at http colon slash slash spoken iphone tutorial dot org slash nmeict iphone intro this is rupa krokade from iit bombay signing off thanks for watching